Hello, I'm Zoe and I'm a third year Bachelor of Public Health student here at Monash. Today I'm chatting to two health science graduates to find out a little more about where their degrees have taken them and what their careers actually look like. So my name's Lauren and I work in a local government area. Um, now I'm a community and social planner, so I'm an age-friendly social planner specifically. And I graduated from Monash in 2017 and I studied a Bachelor of Health Science. Yeah, and I'm Christy and I am now the clinical trials lead at Cancer Council Victoria and I studied a Bachelor of Health Science and then finished with an honours uh, research project uh, in 2017. If you guys would like to just tell us a bit more about your career journey from finishing your degree to where you are now. So I worked in corporate health for a short term, but I was pretty interested in moving on to a bit more of a people-oriented role. Um, and then I started in the public sector. I actually started as a customer service officer. And then from there, another role came up that was in community engagement. And I really, really loved that and then was really interested in the more community and people-facing roles from there. During my Bachelor of Health Science degree, I volunteered, I took placements, I worked part-time as a research assistant and that kind of led me into that honours pathway where I wanted to undertake a research project and apply some of the skills that I'd learnt throughout those volunteer and placement roles, um, but also in the undergrad degree itself. And then towards the end of that um, honours year, um, a job popped up at Cancer Council. My honours thesis was on uh, the primary care engagement of adolescent and young adult cancer patients with a GP. And so when the job came up at Cancer Council, a part-time project officer role towards the end of my honours year, I thought perfect. Um, and that was really working with um, people that had been affected by cancer to increase their awareness of clinical trials. Um, from there, an opportunity again came up to increase my hours at Cancer Council and undertake some data analysis. Um, have gone through to be a, a program coordinator um, and then I'm now the clinical trials lead, so um, looking after a suite of programs that aim to improve access to clinical trials for people affected by cancer. What does a typical day look like in your current role? For me, there's definitely no uh, typical day or even a uh, typical year. So because my role is very community-led, um, it's really up to me to find out what the community are interested in working on, or what the needs might be. So part of my role is working directly with people in the community or their family or their loved ones and finding out what issues they might be facing or what things that they're actually interested in running or how they're wanting to support the people around them. Um, but then another part of that is a bit more strategic. So looking at what the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years look like in our area and how we can best support the changing needs and the forecasted needs. And then another part is a bit more project work. So it might be, for example, at the moment, there's a big outdoor exercise park for seniors being built. Um, so I'm looking at getting equipment imported from Finland for it um, and then getting some people trained up to actually deliver different programs and things like that. So it's, it's always changing and it's not even the same year to year. It's just um, constantly changing, which is something that I really, really enjoy. All righty. So Christy, what is something that people might be surprised to learn about your role? Um, I think the diversity of the role and the diversity of the skills and, and knowledge that you acquire through working in this field is something that people would be surprised at. Um, I know I, I was. I didn't ever expect to go from doing data analysis, data analysis one day um, to doing advocacy and policy-based campaigns the next. I think um, that's something that I was surprised but um, very, I guess, excited about when um, I commenced in, in this role. Yeah, there's definitely an unlimited amount of roles out there and it's always changing because there's different different needs in different areas and at different times and for different ages. So there's really no limit to what you can do in this sector. It's really, really special. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope this gave you a taste of where a degree in health science could take you today. If you think health science could be the degree for you, we hope that we'll see you at Monash soon. Bye.